I see myself in a drugstore window. Tall, wearing big boots that make me feel like I'm strutting everywhere I go. Tight pants, black. And I can't believe it's me, because I'm beautiful. I don't even recognize myself. And it's like a whole other individual has taken over my reflection. She's thin and has a big smile and stands with her shoulders back, not crouched forward. And she looks mean through her happiness. Tough. I love her. Love her. Me. I recognize that same stupid, shy, scared sadness that isn't quite ready to leave her face. And I hear her fear. What do you do when you've never liked yourself? Never learned how to? Never thought you were anything good? Always something to hide. But one day, like magic, you see yourself full of love for yourself. Like a spell has been cast. My beauty is like a beam of light, so bright it propels me forward across the street and into a coffee shop. I flash a smile at the girl behind the counter with the cat eyes and the golden hair, and I'm feeling so sexy, like heat is just radiating off of every part of me. And she feels it too. We exchange glances, like it's too bad we're in a crowded coffee shop, because otherwise we could rip our clothes off and see just how fucking amazing we both are. I flash a smile, a big generous I'm giving you a piece of me smile, to a man with gray hair, and he smiles back. I flash a smile to the whole place and they smile back, and I think to myself, this, this is an example of universal love. I am telling myself, I have so much love for myself, I can also love every single one of you. That is how much love I have in me. I order a mochaccino because it's the most expensive drink, and I love this, and me, and I don't need anyone to tell me why. So you're training, huh? Perhaps you were not informed, but I work down here alone. So you just do whatever you are going to do. I will be down here doing my job. <laughs> Terrible penmanship. Dr. D. Nineberg, return to sender. <laughs> Who is this meant to be for? Feels like a card. Probably for grandparents' day. You had your four-year-old address the card. How adorable, return to sender. If they will not take the time to address their mail legibly, I will not take the time to try to decipher their scrawlings. What was your name again? Andy something. Niels? Ah, Andrew Niels with two E's? That's a unique spelling. You know, Mr. Niels, it is amazing what you can learn about a person just from their mail. What was your girlfriend's name again? Andrea. Andy and Andrea. I always thought that was just the cutest darn thing. She moved out, though. I noticed she had her mail forwarded across town. Did not put in an official change of address, though. That's why you still get her mail. Must be a terrible reminder. Good riddance, I say. She was obviously a moron. But then why would she want to leave an intelligent man like yourself? I noticed you stopped receiving those packages from India. Pills not working. At first I thought it must be the expense. As you're collecting unemployment. But that must not be it. Because here you are. Looking very much employed. <laughs> 